Like we promised, we are here today, connected brilliantly and digitally to this fabulously large family of heroes across the globe. And if I am to give you out some numbers, as I speak, hundreds of thousands are connected with us right now as I speak. Is it not simply mind-blowing? This evening is all about creating new benchmarks and how. Connecting to our domestic business partners, global distributors, our associates across the world and employees. But perhaps most importantly and significantly with our beloved customers all at once and together for this wonderful event. A one of its kind launch in automobile and two-wheeler history, reaching out to such a huge world audience in real time. Specially created digital experience to showcase the new age face of hero. I'm sure that all of you know how actively our chairman, managing director and chief executive officer, Mr. Pawan Munjal has been personally driving this new age digitization within the company. And while he's a big believer in the digital medium, he also cherishes the interactions that one on one contacts make happen. Perhaps that was the brief that we had to make this digital launch as real as possible. So look out for those opportunities as they pop up on your screen and you can participate and participate actively. So are you all ready to play your part? I am. Hopefully you are all. Yes, uh, we are going to new segments, new products with new technology, the new hero. So our communication, the engagement with all of you needs to be more instant, more immersive, more digital. Well, uh, the world is changing fast. And as a wise man once said, change is the only constant in life. So we ourselves are changing constantly. Absolutely, Bacchus. And speaking of change, what's new is that our partners in, partners in almost 40 countries are, are with us live to witness this historical moment. In fact, I think we can hook up to some of these places as we speak. So all my global business friends, as you can see... And they're waving at us, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's fantastic. Oh, cool. yeah. So very nice to see all of you there. As you can see, there is a lot of anticipation and excitement here today. Just to put things in context, we have been getting requests from our global distributors and associates that they would want to be part of launches and would like most of their sales and after sales team to experience the thrill, joy and excitement of a hero launch. Perhaps we chose the right moment to not just do this with a few limited people, but open it up to the entire team across our global footprint. Thanks, Rajat. And very well said. It just doesn't get any bigger than and better than this. So it's about time then to get into cyberspace, I guess, and join our chairman, managing director, and CEO, Mr. Pawan Munja. Let's all go and see what's, it, what's he got in store for us. Gentlemen, let's go and catch up with Pawan Ji. All right. Namaskar, hello, wanakam, sat sari akal, assalamu alaikum, hola, konnichiwa, guten tag. I am sure most of you would have understood that these are all greetings in different Indian and global languages, which are today spoken in the corridors of the new hero, the global hero. And there are many, many more. Many of you from this Global Hero family have joined us today from different parts of the world. A simple but profound indication of the growing expanse of Brand Hero spread across almost 40 countries around the world. There are some special friends who are excited about today's launch. Why don't you have a look? Youth are the future and technology is the answer for tomorrow. And Hero has masterfully combined them all. I'm sure that this revolutionary launch will create history for Hero. Hero is changing the game. With the youth, you become the champions of tomorrow. A big hello to all of you. And today, I'm truly delighted at meeting all of you, our most valued members of the large Hero family. Since we met last, a lot has happened all over the world. Geopolitical upheavals from the Indian subcontinent to the Middle East, 
from Latin America to North Korea, socio-cultural transformations across continents and the changing power equations in the world of sports and entertainment with two of our own brand ambassadors, Tiger Woods and Virat Kohli, scripting sporting history. Tiger, as many of you would know, recently wrote the biggest comeback in the history of sports by clinching his 15th major, winning the Masters for the fifth time. Virat, on the other hand, keeps consolidating his position as the undisputed cricketing god, securing a much elusive first ever Test Series win against the mighty Aussies in their own den down under. And then there are lesser known heroes, the unsung ones like Gomati Maributhu from a humble background in Salem in Tamil Nadu, who went on to win her maiden gold medal at the age of 30 in 800 meters at the recent Doha Asian Athletics Championships. Amidst all these path-breaking transformations, however, one thing has remained unchanged, the coveted status of Hero Motor Corp, your own company, as the undisputed world number one and the market leader in the domestic market by a huge margin. Fiscal 19 was a difficult year on many counts. There were external challenges in the form of both regulatory and competitive reasons, thereby not letting us do any better than a flat growth for the year. And yet, we sold around 2 million units more than the nearest competition during the year. That is no mean achievement, and we all deserve a big round of applause for this. There were other silver linings as well. Mostly, thanks to your unrelenting efforts, and for that, I would like to congratulate all of you. The biggest news was the strong comeback of Splendor. Reclaiming its rightful place as the largest selling two-wheeler out of India, replacing a very active competition product. The unassuming HF Deluxe quietly crossed the enviable landmark of 2 million in cumulative sales, while Splendor crossed 3 million cumulative unit sales for the year. That's not all. Destiny 1 to 5 became the fastest among scooters to reach the landmark milestone of 100,000 in unit sales. So, despite all the sluggishness and tough environment, we have reasons to celebrate and rejoice. Looking ahead, the current fiscal FY20 is also going to be equally challenging in terms of the upcoming regulatory changes and the prevailing market sentiments. In this very crucial year for us, as we look at the future, I have decided to reach out to you through the medium of the future, the digital medium. To go digital in almost all areas of operations is a choice we made long back when we set up a completely digitally controlled global part center, the GPC, or the highly automated operations on our plant shop floors and dispatch through robotics and the automated storage and retrieval system. Therefore, going digital for an event like this today was the only logical next step for us. For a nation that is as young as ours, our choice should be governed by keeping the youth at the center of everything, be it product, development, and marketing or sales experience and communications. That's the challenge I gave Team Hero. The products that we will unveil today need to be an endorsement of our moving in the right direction and making the right products for an increasingly digital and youthful world. Now I want to leave you with one final thought. Often in the past, we have discussed this, and I have been told that all efforts are being made to make every customer visit to our dealerships or touch points a delight. So to ensure that this happens, we have come up with a program to turn the hero customer touch points into the showrooms and workshops of the future. This grant plan for a complete makeover of all our channel partners will be initiated by the second quarter of this financial year and completed by next year across all locations. This transformational and ambitious plan will help us create exceptional facilities for our customers who will benefit from
from the sheer joyful experience of our ambience and processes. This plan will also help us achieve a very important target that is very, very dear to me, the WOW experience. I am happy to note that we are moving in the right direction and it is truly inspiring to see the hero happiness score on a lot of stuff. So while you focus on making the most of your existing and new hero products, keep your focus on this aspect as well. Now, I expect that all of you have many questions about all I've said. Please get ready to ask them in the Q&A session towards the end of this event. Now I'll hand over to Sanjay and the team who are eager, I'm sure, to take up the tremendous opportunities I've just spoken about. Hi Sanjay, are you up to the challenge? Hello Pawanji, as you've always shown us, taking on challenges is in hero's DNA. That's great to hear. Over to you guys then. Thank you Pawanji. We just heard the vision articulated by Pawanji and as you can well imagine, the task for the team was nothing less than daunting. And as shared earlier, it is in Hero's DNA to take unimaginable challenges in redefining customer expectations and surpass these. At Hero, it is this passion to excel that drives us in our single-minded commitment to delight our customers. Our task, therefore, was cut out to live up to these high expectations of our customers by bringing the vision to life and work diligently in creating the next generation products to meet and perhaps even go beyond the expectations of our customers and truly delight them. This pursuit then led us to two questions. A, what is this millennial generation seeking who are not just young but restless and want to explore the world around them? A generation for who tomorrow is too late. B, can we create something that will excite and thrill the adventure seekers. Well, let's then all go out there and meet the two people who might just have the answers. Hi, Marcus. Hello, Malo. Hello, Sanjay. Hi, Sanjay. Do you have the answers to my questions? We do know these adventure seekers. As we created the segment long back in India, the hero impulse was the first of its kind in the adventure segments. We've learned a lot from it, and all that real world experience has gone into making the all new Hero Expose. This is why we are proud to launch the Expose today, India's first adventure bike for everyone, one that is both accessible and capable. And Marcus, being an experienced enduro rider, he can tell what makes it capable. What makes the X-Pulse so capable in any terrain? Let me get a little bit more into detail. With a large 21-inch front wheel, a 190mm long stroke suspension fork, and a rock-clearing ground clearance of 220mm, the new X-Pulse can effortlessly conquer any terrain or cross unsightened speed breakers with ease. Despite all of this, the x -Pulse offers a low seat height of only 825 mm, more like that of a conventional commuter bike, giving easy mounting and the ability to get the feet down when the going gets tough. The x -Pulse is powered by the same Gazi 200cc engine that we know from the new Xtreme 200R, but this time with fuel injection for even more refined delivery, which promises to give you a lot of punch just when you need it. The x is developed with the same team that experienced to engineer India's most successful Dakar rally bike ever and has been extensively tested in the wilds of Europe, the mountains of the Himalayas and the deserts of Rajasthan. But x is not only a real adventure bike, it is a family of models for the explorers. For those who value the journey on any roads, we created the x 200T variant. A modern retro design with ease of touring capabilities. What would you highlight in this model, Marcus? The x T is a bike that is free from unnecessary bodywork and complexity. It's pared down to the bare essentials that capture the spirit of riding. A bike that fits to the rider rather than the rider having to fit to the bike. 
the white handlebar, the contoured seat, and the active but comfortable riding position with a low seat height of only 795 millimeters ensures agile handling and a superior comfort on any long road trip. The LCD instrument cluster offers Bluetooth connectivity to your mobile phone and turn-by-turn -turn navigation ensures that you always stay on your route. And the full LED headlamp offers class-leading illumination of even the darkest road. A robust luggage plate with bungee hooks completes the Hero x 200T that's ready to hit the road any day and any time. For those who explore on any road or beyond, Hero now offers the x 200 and the x 200T. Wow, guys, you've really got two mean machines there for today's generation. So how about addressing the needs of those younger girls and boys who would only really be commuting within cities, but want to do so in style? You got anything for them? Sanjay, our pleasure to unveil what we've developed for them. Yes, you've guessed it. Let me introduce you the new Hero Pleasure Plus 110. Do not be fooled by the name. It's more than a simple evolution. Plus, as in plus style, plus pep. For girls, but now also for boys. It's more ready than ever before. The new pleasure retains the promise of the brand, a compact, light, and agile scooter. The engine has been upgraded from 100cc to 110cc, and is significantly more powerful now with the best power to weight ratio in the category. The all-new bodywork represents a significant upgrade in aesthetics. An elegant and stylish statement, compact in size, with super performance and all-around agility. You've got a scooter. You just jump on, plug in and go. Yes, we've located the USB charger where it made the most sense for you. And the colors really up the cool quotient of this scooter manifold. So Sanjay, what do you think of the new Hero Pleasure Plus 110? Well, we truly got a great winner there. And there's no doubting that. This Pleasure is clearly the next gen scooter that shouldn't just get the girls all thrilled, but be the envy of a lot of boys. Talking of boys there, Marlo and Marcus, we do have another winning scooter, don't we? Something with more guts and a lot more style. We do have an evolution of the much loved Maestro Edge. The new Hero Maestro Edge 125. It is more than just a high-powered scooter. It is the first scooter with fuel injection technology in India. And Marcus can explain what it does for you. The fuel injection ensures with 9.1 bhp excellent power-to-weight ratio and a smoother power delivery. This new Maestro is also unmistakable at night, as it got a separate LED signature, which makes it distinctive and recognizable. Since all that pep would need some serious stopping power, we've incorporated disc brakes, which gives you all the braking power when you really need it. That concludes, ladies and gentlemen, our product offensive in the scooter segment, bringing style and technology together. Hats off to you guys. Incredibly, you've been able to bring to life the vision articulated by Pavanji and found a solution to every need set and segment challenge I could possibly have thrown at you. And I'm sure our business and channel partners are already feeling the excitement. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I would now like to conclude the product presentations. Sanjay, so, just a minute, please. We are not done just yet. I've got one more surprise for all of you. For this really special product, I'm going to ask Marcus and Malo to tell us more. Thank you, Pawanji. The product you hinted at is the last piece of our 200cc strategy. With this new model, Hero will be the only company 
scattering right across the premium segment, from naked, touring, adventure, and other sport category. Introducing the Hero Extreme 200S, power through presence. There's so much to love about this bike. Here, let me show it to you. Starting with the design. The sporty fairing gives it a highly aerodynamic stance that's great to look at and improves riding stability of the bike. Wider tires, mono suspension and diamond frame provide excellent riding dynamics while the modern LED light defines its unique design. The LCD instrument cluster offers Bluetooth connectivity to your mobile phone and turn-by-turn -turn navigation ensures that you always stay on your route. Here are examples of some of the features this LCD display offers. I'm sure this model will come as a surprise for many of you. And what a surprise. Stunning looking and progressive technology that just awaits the rider in you. Thank you all for being part of this digital journey today and for being part of the hero journey for so many years. I'm sure the products you've seen today have filled your hearts with immense joy and hope for a future full of excitement with tremendous possibilities ahead. It's such an honor to be part of this amazing hero family and I appreciate and thank you all for being a part of this amazing digital experience with me today. As I now hand over to Sanjay, Marcus, Malo and Rajat for the Q&A session, let's all remember it is our customers who are our real heroes. Thank you all and goodbye. Join me. Together let's become invincible. Quite something, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Munjal, for making this series of launches such a memorable experience for all of us here and out there. I speak for all of us when I say you've shown us that truly, together, we are invincible. I'm sure all of you have enjoyed uh, this particular event. Uh, for my global business colleagues, I'd just like to add that many of the products that you saw today would, of course, have localized brand names, as we all know, uh, but the essence and the DNA would be the same. So just to add uh, what Sanjay said, I uh, want to thank all of you for participating in such large numbers uh, in the first of its kind digital launch. We are already getting pictures and videos of our colleagues from around the world participating in this event. So thank you for doing that. I personally loved watching the brilliance of the medium that allowed us to take you up and close to the each technology and feature for greater appreciation. After all, as Pavanji said, it is through your efforts that we continue to be the undisputed number one. So let's make it. So we have received many, many questions from the world over and we'll do our very best to try and answer them all. However, before we do that, Please note that this entire launch and it's, you know, all the associated content around this launch will be available on Heroes My Events app uh, by tomorrow, end of the day. So do go right ahead and share it with as many people as you want to, wish to, um, to demonstrate and showcase the digital face of the new hero. Now let's start our Q&A session and let me do a certain time check. We'll run this Q&A session for roughly about uh, 25 minutes by the watch. So let's have your questions pouring in. We already have a whole bunch of queued up questions that are or were, that have started coming in. And um, you know, we will start responding to some of those questions, but I'll urge all of you to feel free and uh, ask us all the questions that you need to know about the launches, about the models, about the future plans. You're most welcome to share or ask anything that you feel that you need to know. <clears throat> so let me start with uh, a few that have already come in. 
So, this one that is come all the way from Kerala, uh, this is this one is from Sachin and Sachin wants to know are we working on a new generation of high performance bikes beyond 500 cc? Well, well done Sachin, it is a good question. Malo, Marcus, you would like to go? You can be sure, um, we are already working, launch means it is past for us. So we are working on future models, we have our hands full. The team at CIT is, is really uh, working a lot. We are loaded of work and you can be sure that not just replacing what we have in the market and PS6 is a huge, is a huge task itself. So even going beyond what we are right now, what we have in the market is, is one of our jobs and our task and this is the fun part of it. All right, so there is another one which is um, perhaps again uh, Marcus, uh, this one possibly you would like to answer. Uh, well, this one is from Jabalpur in Madhya Pradesh, Central India and it comes from Sanju Basur. Um, as all the new launches are non, not compliant to BS6, what is, what is the plan for these new models post April 2020? Um, as I just said, BS6 is a, huge, is a huge topic for us and as for any OEM and as we do have a really big model lineup, even the task for us is a little bit bigger than for anyone else. Um, but to be sure, uh, the models that we have right now in the market will become upgraded and will be BS6 compliant and will be continued uh, in the market as our standard offer as the time comes um, to fulfill any compliance. All right, that sounds quite interesting. So, are you basically suggesting that well before time we will be there with the BS6? At the right time. At yes. the right place, in the right quality, Excellent. at the right price. This is an interesting one. How is the new pleasure different from the existing pleasure? This one comes from Dinesh uh, and Malo, I guess you would want, like to go at it, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, pleasure is, a, is the vehicle I love. Um, as we say, it's been long in the two, so which means it's, it was well over time that we actually replaced it. And uh, we looked actually at the core audience. You know, the pleasure was the first of its kind to, uh, to be targeting actually the women audience. Uh, but we looked at that and we saw that uh, two or three things to bear in mind. Number one, did you know that in the last four years, the actual number of women buyers getting into scooters has almost doubled. So it's very important that we still uh, focus on uh, this target audience, be it from functionality, having a vehicle which is lightweight, uh, which is seat accessible, and, and easy uh, to maneuver, but at the same time, the style has to be broadened. So we've expanded, let's say, the broad audience to also any girls, but also boys, that basically wants to zoom around the city in uh, in style. So that was the core promise of this new Pleasure Plus 110. And 110 means also he's got now a 110 cc engine uh, with 101 uh, kilogram of curb weights, make it one of the most fun to ride actually scooters that we have in in our category. Absolutely. So that's. That's quite a big change, although the name remains the same, there is more to, uh, to see actually in this new project. And actually the plus is a very big plus. Yeah. So the next one is from uh, Bhubaneswar. Rajiv Dubey has asked this question. What he wants to know is that uh, scooter market is declining and how do we see the market really kind of uh, working out, given that there has been some decline in the past and uh, what are our plans and how do we want to look at this market? I guess I'll take that question and I, to Rajiv and everybody out there back in India, perhaps somewhere else in the world as well. Uh, the answer is very simple. Um, as leaders, we believe whenever the market sentiments are not as strong as they should ideally be, that's the time for the leaders to make their moves. Uh, in this case, as you can see, we put our best foot forward with the launch of two fantastic scooters more recently, as you saw just now. And just before that, we also had the Destiny 125. Obviously, we've excited a whole bunch of customers and there is a lot of traction for that brand. We already hit double digit market share across India in the first five months itself. So those are very, very major positives that we have been able to, you know, get out of the performance of our, some of the recent launches. Uh, hopefully these two new beauties and thanks to Marcus and Malo, uh, the way they've been um, designed, the way they've been engineered, the way they have been, uh, you know, produced and manufactured, I guess, uh, we have absolutely no doubt that the scooter market will see some serious action and uh, perhaps a lot of responsibility would be resting on our shoulders 
with all you people out there to make sure that we have both these models running as super successes. So thanks again for that lovely question. And the next one I think is uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to have to ask Malo to respond to this uh, as the 150 160 cc uh, market is a is is forms the majority of the premium segment. The question is from Sumit Bangalore. He's, he's wanting to know what are our plans for that particular segment. Okay, so good question. Um, actually, the the key moment is we've just launched four products in the scope of let's say I would say almost less than a year between the Extreme 200 R, uh, 200 S, the X Pulse 200 T, and X Pulse 200. Uh, which is quite unique because if you look at uh, what is being offered by any competitors, actually Euro is the only company maybe offering across four different categories of consumer needs, of usage, uh, four different products addressing all of them in a different manner. And I think it's quite unique. We should be actually proud of that, which means any consumer walking to a showroom willing to have a premium offer uh, can choose a completely different uh, territory and universe. Um, and the way we have done that, we have actually not looked at, I would say, a, a, a CC, a displacement of an engine. We've looked actually at the price range. We've made sure that those products are actually loaded with technology and come at the right price. So if you look carefully, all the offer is basically below one lakh X showroom. And that makes it, a, um, I would say, a brilliant value proposition, which is right in the core of uh, what those uh, youngsters want. So normally, I mean, uh, of course, when we look at the future models, we may look at uh, different uh, displacement category. But for the time being, I would say uh, the extreme family and the expert family are clearly our answers for those people uh, wanting to have a premium ride. Excellent. Thank you. Um, and this one, I think, uh, is all the way from Colombia. Our friend Airo Morales, uh, greetings from Colombia. Congratulations on such Hello. an excellent innovative products. Always beyond hope. Uh, we're always beyond, and we hope these models are here very soon. Over to you, Radhav. Yeah, of course. As I said, uh, uh, these would be known as Thriller uh, in Colombia. Uh, we already have uh, 200 are there. Uh, and so I guess the question is when would they be available uh, in these markets? So over the next one month, we start uh, the shipment of these models, um, the Expel series or the Thriller series. Uh, and then given the shipment time and the time to assemble, they would be available uh, to market those uh, in Colombia. All right, from Colombia all the way back to Pawan Desai from Haveri, Karnataka. Congratulations and kudos to the entire Hero family. Would like to know the planned dispatches for these vehicles. Um, yeah, so you um, heard Raja talk about dispatches being planned to Colombia. So back here in India, you don't have those kind of shipping times. So you'll get them sooner than you believe. Uh, what we're targeting to do is by the end of this month, you would mostly be getting your uh, first set of inventories um, for, for the Expulse range as well as for Maestro. Pleasure will be about a month down, which means typically by end of June, you can expect pleasure to come in. However, um, once we are done with the launch today, uh, all you gentlemen, ladies out there are free to start the bookings in India domestically and for, um, for global markets, I'll ask Raja to talk about that. About, you can start your bookings and start taking advances from customers uh, wherever, and you can do a booking with a very normal amount of 10,000 rupees, and we'll send you the process for that starting tomorrow. Thank you very much. And uh, the next one, all right, the next one is from Arpit Kothari from Nanded, uh, Rideville Motors. We would need consistent support to build on Hero Scooter's brand awareness through mass media. What are the plans for the same? Um, Arpit, uh, uh, you know that we have been extremely active as we speak. We are very active with Destiny on, on television and other media. Uh, but increasingly, you see us even greater, act, uh, you know, highly active in the digital medium as well. So it's not just about television and it's not just about print. Uh, Hero strategy on building uh, the brands will cut across medium and digital will play a very focal part of that it will be one of the major fulcrums to drive our overall planning. But yes, you will continue to see us invested in the category. The very fact that we have uh, launched almost about three models back to back and I if I you know obviously the carburetor version included as four different models in the 125 cc over the last seven months is proof enough of the fact that how serious and committed we are for the category. Therefore, 
it will get the necessary and desired support from building the brand point of view or advertising or marketing support that's required. Let's move on to the next one. Um, and uh, well, this one is from uh, this one is from Nirmal Singh. <coughs> From right, uh, yeah, from Nirmal Singh, and who wants to know that who's the ideal customer for these new products? So, would you like to take a sure. shot at it, uh, Malu? Um, for the, the new products, products yeah, well, I think the Xpulse right. range and the scooters. If you could quickly just take them through the so, so, so first of all, I mean, the Xpulse family is really about people that want to uh, to tour, to uh, to go around the country, uh, to explore. Uh, be it on any roads, that's the Xpulse 200T, or being beyond, uh, let's say, when there is no more roads, there is more fun, that's the Xpulse 200 for the adventure. Um, then you have this uh, surprise product that I'm sure a lot of you were not expecting, the Xtreme 200S, which is really about for the uh, young audience, uh, fashion in style, at the same time willing to uh, race around the city. Um, then when we move to the uh, scooters, the two beautiful uh, offers, so one, once again, the Pleasure Plus is targeting the young girls and boys, college students, um, willing to go across the city with something that is extremely stylish, agile, and fun to ride. And finally, the Maestro 125, which is complementing beautifully the Destiny 125. Destiny was addressing the people looking for a, a durable offer, um, going from A to B. And Maestro Edge is adding, uh, let's say, a lot of style and energy, especially with the fuel injection and muscle. <laughs> you get a bit of uh, Marcus muscle in each of every scooter, so <laughs> just expand right. the price. Right, that's great. Uh, we have a very interesting question coming from um, from Himadri Das. Uh, this is from Murshidabad, West Bengal. Himadri wants to know that there are several rider, rider communities and biking clubs and motorsports associations who are extremely effective and you know are extremely active and is a very effective way to enhance the brand image uh, and our customer engagement. So what's our plan to leverage these properties to strengthen our presence in the premium segment? Uh, thanks a lot, Yamadri. I think it's a very valid question. Yes, the fact remains that in premium, uh, while the fact remains that Hero was the one who started this entire premiumization of the industry uh, two decades ago with the launch of CBZ at that time, and we continue to be one of the most aspired brands in premium category, so for a few years um, more recently, uh, we, were not ex we were not very present in that category uh, for several reasons. The, uh, one of the reasons has been that we were extremely focused on getting it all right and getting the new set of bikes, which you see in the delightful range that we are out there with now. So with all this muscle there, and there's that much more reason for us to be extremely engaged. Uh, we have a dedicated uh, vertical within the company now, which is going to look after customer engagement. And one of the mandates there is to start looking at all of these groups and all of these um, you know, available options in the market where we could link back with the rider communities and the riding groups and associations and look at multiple and several levels of engagement and associations. So all that and more is going to happen. Uh, the responsibility of the building the brand will need to start right from the showrooms onward and can't be just run through advertising as we all understand. This category of customers is completely an you know, extremely aware. Therefore, we all need to be on a, you know, agile most to be able to deliver consistent value to this category. And engagement is one of the ways to reach out. So surely, uh, it's a good suggestion. And at the same time, uh, we are committed in trying to build this engagement extremely strongly over the next few months. Uh, and I'm sure that's going to get us the numbers that we're looking at from this category. Sanjay, maybe, maybe I can add yes, please. to that, especially the x -Pulse. Because uh, since we are very engaged and very successfully engaged in, in world rally racing, yes, yes. Uh, so I, I think we, we, we created really a good basis in terms of technology, in terms of credibility, um, as we even are right now on the level in reaching international podium. And uh, as, let's say, our credible brand ambassador mm -hmm. for off-road racing here in India, Sia Santosh, was part of the development team. Right. Uh, we had the press launch, uh, even even in his off-road area, which was very well received, and him testing the bike, showing the capability of the bike. This really makes a clear difference to what else is right now offered in the market, and the capability of the bikes, I think, it's a good basis 
it's a good basis to take it to the next level and business success. Absolutely. I think, thanks a lot, Marcus, for chipping in with that. I think it's important to understand that the commitment Hero has uh, in this category is unparalleled. You know, we have a 360 plan and I think most of the stuff that you would now be able to connect back, you would realize starting with racing, doing the world's most toughest uh, possible endurance race and that's in the Dakar. I think that itself is proof enough of the capability of your bikes and coming back on back of that, this new range, which allows us the freedom to stay, you know, be actively engaged with that kind of consumer set. So I think all in all, we've got it now all sorted. We have a fantastic range for all you guys to really go out there and uh, keep our customers excited and engaged. Um, I will now move on to the next one, which is from Madhvendra Singhal. Um, and uh, the question I'll, I'll, have asked, I'll have to ask Malu to respond to this one. How do we distinguish it from Destiny 125 and Maestro? So what is the difference between Maestro and Maestro 125 Edge and uh, Destiny 125 is, is the question. Oh, okay. I, I saw that I replied to that earlier, yeah, but so. I'll, I'll, I'll resynthesize it. Um, Destiny 125 is really addressing the, uh, the core of the 125, which <laughs> has been, let's say, at the beginning, which what we call the core commuter. Uh, but in the 125, so having higher aspiration in terms of, of uh, drivability. Uh, when we say that, it's about durability um, and fuel efficiency. So durability is one of the key features of the destiny is, of course, a metal body, and they will need to be, uh, uh, to be robust and easily repairable. Uh, and the other side is the fuel efficiency. Um, Hero has this wonderful technology, which is extremely intuitive and brings a lot of value, which is the I3S. We had it on all our motorcycle, uh, engineering took on the challenge to introduce it as a segment first on the scooters, and that's basically the key value proposition of, uh, of Destiny, along with the style. Um, the other part of it, the MyStrait 125, we're launching it again with a segment first, which is the fuel injection, first time ever seen in a scooter in India. Uh, that provides you a, a fantastic, smooth response, but at the same time, a fast acceleration. We're talking about one of the best power to weight ratio in the category. And that too, in for me at least, what I like, uh, uh, two brilliant colors, one with a, a white and beige combination, which is extremely premium, and another one, which is more the one I'm closer to, uh, very sporty and quite passionate with a, uh, an intense red inner panel and a, and a fantastic black uh, outside. So I think this is our people for really, which are a younger audience, uh, more boys, that basically you want to see uh, touring around the city, uh, and, uh, and racing it. Thank you very much for taking that question, uh, Marcus. And I think we have a very interesting one coming from one of our own employees who's sitting at one of the dealerships in Calcutta, Raja Motors, and uh, in Barakpur actually, uh, which is in West Bengal, uh, close to Calcutta. And he's writing in saying that, I'm at Raja Motors, Barakpur, and customers are very eager to know the prices and when will these bikes be available at the showrooms. So the prices, generally we've given out the prices like showroom Delhi, all the prices for towns across India would be uploaded um, immediately after this event is over and you would have your state-wise prices first thing in the morning tomorrow and you can start the bookings, I've already covered that with 10,000 rupee nominal payment from each of the customers. The expected um, vehicles at, at your dealerships would be closer to the end of the month. Um, most of the bikes and scooters other than the Pleasure 110, Pleasure Plus 110, which will be available by end of June. So for which you don't need to start bookings now, you can start bookings later. So I have one more question. And this is an interesting one. <laughs> it is talking about, uh, is there any plan for premium showroom for high-end bikes? So, mm. um, well, I, I think... Um, mm. Good uh, question. It's a good question. And I guess uh, a lot of that was answered by Mr. Munjal when he was talking to you. Um, short while back from the cyberspace, we, we talked about the new, um, you know, the uh, new range of uh, retail identity that we're trying to bring in. It's one of the most exciting, perhaps uh, something that um, you'll be very thrilled when it kind of starts hitting the road. Uh, in quarter two of this year, we'll be starting the pilots, we'll be starting the uh, launch of this, and we will need to complete it by end of next year. I think the sheer uh, look and feel would, uh, would, would be very unique and distinctive, and I, I suppose that's the first step. I think the most important step for us is to really uh, have the next generation level of showrooms uh, across the country in India. 
and uh, therefore that itself is going to bring a lot of premiumization. The whole point is that when you have products which are so very premium, so very distinctive, so very unique, you perhaps don't need to work too hard around, uh, you know, worrying about creating separate showrooms, etc. Uh, these are these are options that are always available. We will examine them as and when and if necessary. Uh, so for now, the whole focus will be on upgrading your current facilities to the next level and creating wonderful experience for our customers. Thank you very much for that question. Let's move on. And uh, we have what? Ah, we are kind of out of time, but I guess I'll take this one uh, as last question for. Um, and I think this one needs to be. This one is for you, Marco. I think you love this subject, and I'm going to. I'm sure you'll be thrilled. Uh, when can we expect the EV scooters from you? Oh, <laughs> yeah, indeed, I love this question. Um, I'm listening to your answer. <laughs> yeah. So, and, and you give me the data. <laughs> um, no, no, so when can we expect the EV scooter from Euro? Um, when the market will be ready? Uh, I think there's been some, uh, a lot of work uh, that happened on two and three fronts. At least I'll give you two, which, I mean, most of you know. We have presented uh, a, a prototype scooter that was the Duet EV, I think it was in 2016 Auto Expo? Yeah, Auto Expo. Um, so, which means it shows you that the work is happening in CIT. There is a lot of progress which has been done. Uh, then after, Marcus can even comment on what has been done even beyond CIT with, with the new technical center uh, open in Germany. Um, so there is this which is happening. We have also took a parallel approach which is to invest in a, in a startup in Bangalore which is quite well known now because it's called Ether and they've been one of the first to come up with an advanced electric scooters. So I mean so we have basically two approaches. One internal and one looking at also uh, external knowledge and, uh, and at the same time from an investment point of view. Um, when we look at that, when I say when the market will be ready is, uh, I'm sure you know all the challenges uh, which are needed to be removed when we look at the EV. I'm talking about charging infrastructure, I'm talking about creating a pool from the consumer. And uh, I think when we look at the entire history of even incentives, there's been a lot of uh, back and forth. Now just recently, uh, there's been a new push from the government with uh, the FAME2. Uh, so I think that this will give at least a good direction. Unfortunately, you should also know that this will put out of the market a lot of, um, I would say, underperforming electric scooters. So I think the market is even going to contract for a short while, uh, but that will be only to, to rebound later. So which means we're still on for a good period of uncertainties. And which means in that kind of cases, the best things to do is continue our work, um, continue to focus on it. But I don't think that there is any point for us to, uh, uh, let's say, deviate from what is the urgency, which is really on the premium motorcycle, on the scooters, um, and come with EV scooters at the same time when the entire ecosystem is ready, when the consumer is ready, uh, of course we are. Excellent. Yeah, Thank may, you. Maybe, maybe to add, yeah. um, looking at it from a consumer perspective, technology has to be ready as well. Technology to an acceptable price. Mm. And, and we do talk, when we talk about EV, here within Hero, we do talk about mass mobilization. Absolutely. We do not talk about, let's say, a super duper high, whatever premium thing that nobody is able to afford. Mm. And from that perspective, the challenge is, from a customer perspective, he has right now a Splendor, he has right now a Maestro. Destiny, yeah. he has a Maestro, yeah. Maestro, he has a Pleasure, and he will always compare new technology in reference to what he has. Is it cost? Is it performance. performance? Is it load capability? Is it, is it, is it? And, and the technology, especially the batteries, they have to further upgrade in terms of uh, energy density, weight, packaging, and cost. Consumer will not accept, let's say, two thirds higher price uh, than, than what he has right now with the same performance. And this is from the technology point of view, Always thinking, we do talk about mass mobilization to offer, to, to have a, a good offer for the customer, value preposition for the customer in reference to what he has today. Absolutely. I guess um, just to sum it up, what Marcus um, was trying to get to was the fact that in terms of our capability, we are ready. It's just that the market perhaps is not. And, you know, customers will eventually decide when they will seek innovation. So as far as Hero is concerned, we stay committed to this core area of electric mobility. And of course, we have announced our plans 
way ahead of time and uh, we would be very much ready and of course there's a lot of work that's happening currently yep. but uh, the time for launching any of those would be entirely dependent on when the market is right. I think uh, we've got some very interesting stuff coming in from some of our global markets and I have this wonderful comment coming from Christian uh, and he's um, he's from the LATAM team he's one of our own uh, employees uh, he's from Colombia and he's saying he's talking about Expulse finally a bike for the market and will win the market given its performance parameters. So good luck to you, Christian. I'm sure you'll do very well and you start rocking with the new Expulse coming to you. And there's this one from Asif in Dhaka. And Asif is really keen to know whether this model, I guess these models are going to hit Bangladesh market soon. Well, I think uh, while we were talking about uh, showcasing these products, we always had Bangladesh in our mind. Uh, unfortunately, many of these, given the CC restriction there, uh, would not be uh, uh, relevant for the Bangladesh market. Uh, but for Bangladesh, we have something else. Uh, and we will discuss those plans separately. <laughs> what, what we can do, we can uh, send you over Rajat. He'll speak directly with the government and try to make sure that those models can be introduced. <laughs> All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you so much for being wonderful. A wonderful audience and patiently um, you know bearing us for this almost about 60 minutes now we are we are way beyond our time and I know there are a lot of questions still rolling in uh, and you know there's, there's only that much we can do today however uh, you see this um, website up there invincibles at heromotogob.com feel free shoot across all your mails uh, and questions we'll be more than happy to respond to any unanswered question there's one last thing that I want to kind of wrap this up with. This has come from one of our dealers in Visavadar in Gujarat. Uh, and um, and he's, he's basically saying something very nice. So I have to say this. Yes, please. Um, it's rare. And he, he, Vishal Motors Visavadar says that this digital launching is a good idea and we are so proud of our company. Thank you very much uh, to you out there. Brilliant. It just makes our day. It is exactly the moment that we've been waiting for. A big thank you to all of you who have been connected across continents, across India with us today for your outstanding support, especially to our customers. I think it's without customers who are our true heroes, uh, we would not have been where we are. All this would just not have been possible. And you know, over the years, they have continued to shower their love for Hero and Hero today stands tall. For 18 long years, most fabulous years, Hero has been the number one two-wheeler company in the world. It has been an incredible 60 minutes that we've spent with each one of you. And to see us, see us launch some of these wonderful products, um, range of bikes and scooters, which I'm sure will, will find their way into the hearts of our dear customers. So this one, this digital launch is to total dedication to our customers and sincere apologies for not being able to you know, respond to all your queries and questions. But like I said, uh, do write in to us at invincibles at heromotocop.com and not just that, uh, we'd also want you to take selfies with all your customers and send it over to us and let's try, let's try and have some fun with that and do something really magical with that and we'll probably send you back some very interesting stuff around those selfies that you take. A uh, big thank you once again for making this global digital launch truly, truly memorable. Thanks to all our global distributors, customers, and domestic business partners for their overwhelming support for this event. Thanks to all of you for joining us in this magical journey. Thank you. So just wanted to say one thing, uh, uh, you know, we will leave the line open for you guys to send your questions. Uh, you know, if you feel like you, you can continue to send your questions and we'll pick them instead of you writing into the Invincibles uh, uh, mail ID, you can continue to send your questions live as well so we'll keep on capturing those and eventually respond to you and finally yeah indeed a big 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 thanks to all of you yeah it is this commitment that makes hero in the end truly invincible absolutely good luck to all of us thank you very much thank you all thank you very much again thanks a lot thank you audience thank you guys Without you, this just wouldn't have been as much fun. Thank you.